Gone, and I am the costume designer for Lyric Arts production of Cabaret. We're setting the show in 1929, and we're leading into World War II, and so there's um, a lot of different conflicts in Germany at this time. So we have many people who were in the cabaret, were in poverty, um, people who came there, and people who performed there. So we're looking at um, what the class was for the people who might have gone to the cabaret, what were the lives of the Kit Kat girls, and I'm um, trying to base it as much as we can on historical data. For costume wise, it's a little difficult because it's actually much easier to make them all look beautiful. <laughs> We're trying to figure out what costumes we can use to make it look um, like maybe five, six, seven years older than um, the period so that we have that idea that things have not been so great for them. The um, idea of it all being kind of dirty and worn in. And that can be a problem considering all my costumes right now are borrowed. That's one of the hurdles I'm working on is do I need to build some costumes that I can distress or can I find some things um, that I can work on to make them look like they're a little more um, worn in, I guess. There are a lot of costumes for every character. A Kit Kat girl, for example, and she's going to have her opening number, a costume for Don't Tell Mama, and a costume for Mine Hair, and a costume for the kick line, for the party, um, for the money song. I think I got them all in there. There's just, so even though there are only six Kit Kat girls, um, and we have some Kit Kat boys too, um, it's, it's adding up very quickly <laughs> how many costumes are, are in the show. Go, Wave come.